I'm Emilio Pasmino, and today we're here in the Amazon jungle. And we're surrounded by Capuchin Mo. We're surrounded by these capuchin monkeys. Now, I'm gonna go feed them over there, but hang on. Let's see. Here we have a mother with a child. Oh, nope, this guy is going in the way. No, this is not for you, it's for her. Here you go. There you go, buddy. Look at these guys. These guys live in group and family groups. There's a lot of them, let's see. Here I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa! Look at that, no fear at all. He's jumped right on me. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Now that I've got no food, he's not interested. He's just going away. Right? The specific species we are meeting today is called Humboldt's white-fronted capuchin. Previously, all white-fronted capuchins were considered one species, but were recently split into nine or ten species, depending on who you ask. Though this is the first time I've seen white-fronted capuchins, I encountered wild capuchins once before, years ago at the Iguazu Falls of Argentina. Those were the black capuchins, and after being in the midst of all their crazy antics for a few days, I was well aware that their Amazonian cousins were also fun-loving troublemakers. Now, capuchins are very intelligent animals. Whoa! They're very intelligent animals. They're almost human-like in their behavior. And they're very close social groups. They'll hang out, and they make a lot of trouble. Since they know that humans are a good source of food, they're going to hang out kind of like bears do in the U.S., but here it's monkeys. And they get a lot closer. Look at that. Hey, little buddy. Now, mothers are going to be very protective of their young. They're going to carry them on their back for the first few months of their lives. See, he hangs on very tight to mom. You can see that they have a very long, strong, prehensile tail that they use kind of as a fifth limb. And their hands and feet have been evolved to be able to especially grab on to the trees. Look at that, look at that grip it has. You see? Very interesting. And here, look, here we have another one coming up. They walk on both two legs like humans. Look at that, they can be bipedal at times. I'm gonna throw a piece of it so it doesn't grab onto it. Here we go. Let's see how he catches. Oh, not exactly. Hey, buddy. Look at that. These are incredibly interesting animals. Hey, no more. It's not for you. Capuchin monkeys are very social animals, living in tight family groups of one or a few dominant males, multiple females, and their young. They are highly territorial and constantly get into brutal fights over resources with rival groups. However, amongst themselves, they are surprisingly friendly, often engaging in bonding activities such as playing or grooming. As I mentioned before, they are extremely intelligent. In Trinidad, they've been observed shaping leaves into disposable cups to hold water, which demonstrates the rare ability of primitive tool use. They often travel with other species such as squirrel monkeys or howler monkeys, possibly as a form of protection from predators like birds of prey or large snakes. The humbled species would appear to be much more adaptable than other white-fronted capuchins, some of which have become threatened or endangered. This is because they are able to tolerate living in degraded habitat as the primary forest gets cut down, and have learned how to thrive in close proximity to humans. Down south, the black capuchin isn't yet considered threatened, but their populations are declining as people cut down their native habitat of the Atlantic forest, which we'll soon be visiting in search of other iconic Brazilian wildlife. This is an awesome invention, guys. We got to see these incredible primates up close and personal. Bueno, muchachos, until next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any new adventures by clicking the channel icon right above. Or click here to watch another video. And as always, thanks for watching.